Hello, my name is Mary Butler, and I'm the marketing manager for Bayshore Truck Center in Newcastle, Delaware. For the next few minutes, I'm going to go over Google Analytics, the basics, and how to make sure that it's set up properly so that you can use it to track your digital performance and make sure that your vendors are using your advertising dollars in the most effective way. First things first, what is Google Analytics? Some of you may be familiar with this, and you also may have digital marketing teams, vendors, or in-house that are utilizing this in order to do reporting and track campaigns and those types of things. But just an overview of Google Analytics, it's a free platform that Google provides that connects to your website in order to uh, track the digital traffic that's going to your website pages and then bring it into a dashboard that you will have access to by the end of this video where you can run reports, double check and make sure things are working properly, look how your money is being spent if you're working with a digital advertiser and doing any paid campaigns or SEO campaigns and things like that. So Google Analytics, or GA, does a few very important things um, for your company and for the marketing department and the sales department and, and the company as a whole, really. You're able to learn about your customer through looking at consumer behavior by looking at the different areas and the different channels and the different sources that are available in the Google Analytics dashboard. You can really start to get a pretty clear picture of what your customers are looking for, what they're doing and how they're engaging or not engaging with your website. You're also going to be able to audit vendor performance. This is something that we've done at Bayshore quite frequently. In fact, we do it probably monthly. We look at what our referral vendor traffic is, uh, referral vendors, excuse me, what they're bringing in as far as traffic and conversions to the website. And we compare that against the other vendors that we have, including those paid campaigns and SEO campaigns and those types of things. We compare them to make sure that we're actually using every dollar to its most efficient and impactful ability. And the third thing is increasing your ROI. So you're increasing that return on investment by increasing the amount of engagement that your customers, that the website traffic, and by altering things based on the data so that you can have a more engaged, converting customer. So as we all know, we are in a digital world and advertising has changed dramatically over the past 10 to 20 years. So it's very important that we're tracking our digital performance because that's where a lot of our advertising dollars are going towards. And 95% of vehicle buyers actually start their researching process online. They spend a majority of their time deciding where to buy and what to buy by looking at their uh, options websites. And that is how we can be able to reach them and keep them in the advertising funnel so that we eventually get a conversion and a customer and hopefully a sale. Okay, so the first step in getting your Google Analytics set up is to create a Gmail account. You may already have a Gmail account and that's really just anything at gmail.com. But I would recommend if you don't have one already, make sure that you, you have a specific business Gmail um, account. Once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and go to Google Analytics, google.com backslash analytics and create uh, a new Google Analytics account. Once that's done, you'll be able to see a dashboard. In that dashboard, you'll see an option and a button to set up a property. Set up a property and follow the prompts. It'll ask you a few questions, basic information. Once that's done, you'll set up a reporting view. And once that reporting view is in place, you won't have to do that again. Lastly, you're gonna add a tracking code to your website. In the following pages, I'm gonna show you just a little bit of how that happens. This is the most important part probably to make sure that your website and your Google Analytics accounts are fused together and the information is traveling from your website accurately to Google Analytics. So in order to install the code onto your website, we've got to start in Google Analytics. We have to go in, log into our account in order to find the code. So you're gonna log into GA, go to settings, and then go to admin. You'll then be able to select 
the button called Tracking Info, and then select Tracking Code. And this is going to pop up with a screen that's going to show you the UTM code. So it's going to be a long line of code, and you're basically just going to copy and paste it into a document on your desktop in order to then send it to your website provider or the owner of your Google Analytics account, should it already exist, which probably would be either um, your digital advertiser or again, your website provider. The next step is on your advertising website team. So whoever hosts your website is going to need to add this code to your website. So every page that they add it to is now going to stream and send that information to Google Analytics. So whenever you log in, and I'll show you a couple of things later on on how you can do reporting um, and actually see the traffic that goes to each of those pages how long a customer is on those pages, and a couple of different key performance indicators of the quality of traffic that's going to each of those pages on your website. So for anyone that's new to Google Analytics or maybe just hasn't uh, dove into actually looking at the dashboard and, and playing around with it, it actually can be pretty overwhelming. So Google has, of course, provided tons of free training, and I just screenshotted um, something that you can actually just go on Google and Analytics once you're signed in, and you can watch these videos if you want to, or perhaps have your marketing team, if they're not familiar with some of these things. Um, for myself, I'm always learning more about the platform. Um, they actually, Google just recently did an update to their entire platform, which changed the um, the design of everything so it's a it's a constantly evolving constant opportunity for learning and improvement so I encourage you to go and take advantage of these resources they're pretty easy to follow and Google does a great job of giving you step-by-step -step instructions for whatever it is that you want to learn about the system I would say the biggest advantage that I found working with Google Analytics, as well as my advertising vendors, is finding out what key performing um, indicators I really need to be tracking in order to better understand my customer, to understand the metrics in order to increase engaged traffic, which ultimately increases my ROI, right? Another thing that it does is, is having this information and being able to modify and evolve your strategies as you're learning more about your customers is it's gonna drive your customer acquisition cost down. Um, one of the ways that we saw this actually this year is by looking again at our third party vendors. So those vendors where we list our inventory, our commercial inventory on their site, we pay them a fee, they advertise for their website, um, I'm not going to mention any names, but I'm sure you're familiar with these third party sites and they do serve a purpose. But we were able to actually find out there's a couple of them that we really did not need to have because the cost of acquired visitor to the website was $31 as opposed to our paid search campaign, which brought in that same type of customer for about $3. So we were able to save tons of money every month by reallocating that money over to a more efficient type of campaign that worked for our customer base. Just a quick overview of the dashboard that you're going to see once your Google Analytics is all set up. Now this is just one portion and one type of screen that you're going to have available to you. This is fully customizable and I'm happy to go over this with uh, each of you individually or as a group if you'd like help getting this all set up and navigating the dashboard. But as you can see here, if you look to the left-hand side, it says right now, active visitors. So that's showing, and this is just a generic sample, this isn't anyone's data. Um, right now that's showing how many people would be on your site live, right? Actively using your website. Then they go into things like demographics, where your um, customer base is uh, geographically within the United States, within the, within the world. Um, and then there's a couple of traffic types that they break down in order to show you just a more insight into the data that is available to you in that dashboard. 
So as you can tell, Google Analytics as a whole is um, extremely valuable in my opinion. It also can be a little bit overwhelming, but once you have the hang of it, I find it extremely beneficial and also it's a free tool, so why not use it, right? So again, my name is Mary Butler. I'm happy to help you. My contact information is here. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Give me a call, shoot me an email, shoot me a text, and we can connect for sure. Thanks so much. Take care.